Did she have to hold him back to tell her tell her husband that she had it with any other woman in that building? Like we really got to think about that. Did he have to be calmed down? And, and you can be passionate about your stuff. We all have our moments, but you gotta be you gotta be checked by another dude. Like, like are we putting two and two together? Like, don't invalidate my feelings. You can't tell me how I felt was wrong. If I felt triggered and traumatized in that moment, that's how I felt. If I felt like he was too aggressive and too toxic and doing the most. That's how I felt. You can't tell me that I can't feel what I felt. That's what I felt. And quite frankly, that's what everybody else saw. I know a lot of people that called me was like, I, that's what I saw. That's what I saw. My mom was livid. She was like, how were you on there by yourself with all of that? Like mm -hmm. she was like, so, so she felt like somebody needed to be held responsible. Like that's not okay. If you can't fix it up, you can't say, oh, well, we're coming for your friend. Was he there? I'm sorry. Did y'all see him? That passion was for you. That's the point. He said what he wanted to say and then said, no, I'm talking about her friend. But all of that passion behind the words was for you, which made it inappropriate, in my opinion. Completely. Hands down, I will also, not he publicly... was about to jump. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, I just said I will not publicly um, give him a pass on that. I know people would love for me to. I'm not going to do it. Uh, because again, this is how we get different movements, like Me Too movements. Because again, women are expected to cover in these situations. I ain't covering nothing. It was inappropriate. It was wrong. And he was not right for what he did. If you're mad at someone, like I said, you want me to call, you want to call him? I can pull him up. Like you direct that at who, who, who it deserves to go to, not me. Um, I just, it was inappropriate. It wasn't right. And I do wish... That was one of the moments where I actually was disappointed in Monique because that was one time where I felt like she should have interjected and been like, okay, now y'all, this is, this is too much. <laughs> like you just getting out of hand, like be mad at her. But if you're not exactly mad at her right now, then let's drop it. Like take that offline, deal with that at a different time. Um, but I, I, I was even more disappointed at her tweet. That was disappointing to me. So I didn't ask you this. I, I don't think this is a question we were going to ask, but I just thought about it. So you mentioned that this was the time that you, one of the times you felt disappointed in Monique whenever mm -hmm. you felt like she hadn't covered you. Another time where I felt like I saw the same parallel and I want you to comment on it is whenever they went on the couple's trip and Kevin showed up. And when Kevin showed up, it seemed as though all the other couples wanted to make a spectacle of it. And Chris wanted to cover the situation and he told everybody kind of you know chill out don't do all that but i didn't really hear much from monique to make sure that your situation was protected whenever you had that confrontation with kevin so would you say that that's a similar situation to where you felt like she hadn't covered you no i honestly felt like so this is twofold so i will give her props and actually 
no, she did actually have my back. There was security in that room. Okay. People, the audience doesn't know that. So there was security in that room because they know how I feel. I did not feel safe around him. There were some issues going on where I felt like, you know, some things were challenging <laughs> and safety concerns were there. So they respected me enough to at least have security in the room. So I won't say that. What I will feel, what I will say, I felt like that was her expecting me to always apologize and explain myself to them without really and truly, I feel, holding them accountable for the times where they were truly out of line. That was my issue with her. I felt like Winter was expected to explain herself. Winter was expected to apologize. I almost hate it because the reunion is flipped. What y'all see this past weekend was actually filmed second. Okay, so for editing, they flopped it. And I know why they flopped it, but it's cool. Um, they flopped it. So I actually hate that what people will leave with is me giving a bunch of apologies. Because I, did, I didn't receive any. That oh. is for sure. That is what I hate. And it's unfortunate because every viewer saw what I saw. It wasn't me just coming up starting mess. I responded in kind every time I got it. That's what I did. Now, that is what I feel like maybe shocked Monique with not really being close, close friends, because I feel like if she had to know my personality for real, she wouldn't have had me on this show. <laughs> That's what I believe. If she had known I was spicy a little bit, she would have been like, oh, no, we're not going to put winner in this situation because she she if tested in the right environment. She's going to pop off. I never actually pulled the trigger like that. I, I'm a, I now I'm a responder. I am. I'm not a starter. I'm a finisher. Um, but I think if she knew I was a finisher, she wouldn't have. She wouldn't have put me in that situation. And I think she might have would have ran interference a little better. You see what I'm saying? Like when you kind of mm -hmm. know people now, that you got to run interference a little better. Um, I feel like she actually did that more so for Ashley because she was getting to know her a little better. So at the self event, Monique actually walks me out because, honey, I could have sat there with my legs crossed all night. We could have went toe for toe all night. Like I, I am unbothered in those situations. You, I don't allow people to have control over my emotions like that. Not in those type of situations. But I could tell that she knew Ashley was getting very upset to the point that she might have would have fought, and she was like, "Winner, <laughs> come on, Winter, hush, let's go, let's go." And it's fine. I left. Um, but I just those are the times where I felt like, dang, like you couldn't interject it some, just a little bit, like. Give me some credit, like just a little bit of credit that I'm not the only person that's at fault here. Um, right. And no one I feel like was ever really held accountable like they should have been. Like everyone has fault this season. Everybody. Um, mm -hmm. Don't make it seem like Winter is the only person to have fault. No, Winter just responded. And maybe my responses were not, you know, expected, nor was my confessional. So they got hit with them confessionals, too. Um, and people know I'm just a talker. Uh, and I'm very sarcastic and witty. So things pop off the top of my head, like the song. Like the song wasn't playing. Sometimes people just get on my nerves, and the best thing I can do besides cussing is singing. So I sung. Sometimes I get annoyed, and the, the shade comes off. That's how you get the red light special or the fun size. Let's just be honest, too. Even when those come up, it's to say, I don't want y'all's men's. That's how I actually came up with those names. I don't want you, if you're worried about me being around because I'm checking for your booze, be at peace. I'm not interested. <laughs> no one. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> be at peace. I'm trying to get rid of a husband, not take yours. I'm good. So that's how the names come up. But that's a part of my personality. I've always been like that, very sarcastic. But I'm sure them, them confessionals that they hadn't seen yet probably wouldn't, wouldn't enjoy able to watch either. Because I think that's how they learned about the gutter Barbies, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. So speaking of Ashley, um, we talked about the cabin. We saw y'all kind of make amends there. You even got invited to her book reveal. Mm -hmm. So what happened in between that final scene to the reunion? Did y'all go without talking? Because I'm trying to figure out, you know, she was protecting you. I thought y'all were good. We got our happy ever after for the season finale. And then by the time the reunion came back, it was like we were at square one. This is a million dollar question, y'all. Because I left that finale taping at her book cover release party thinking, oh, we cool. Like, we not friends, but we have an understanding. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. her and I, I just, I don't know. It would take a lot of work, I feel, 
for us to be friends. And I'm cool. I'm not one of those women that feel like we got to be friends, honey. If we just cordial, that's what it is. We could be co-workers and you do you, I do me. No harm, no foul. Um, where I felt things shift for me and the people that were with me that night will attest to this. We were on the live talking about it. When I showed up to my premiere party, the temperature in the room has certainly changed. <laughs> and I was kafilka fished. Like, what is going on? I thought we were good. I just walked in the room. What did I do? Like, I'm so I'm confused. Am I the drama? Am I the drama? Is it me? <laughs> Is it me? It was freaking weird. So I, my friend, see, this is the people, people play with me, but I don't play about receipts. My friend snapped pictures of me talking at the premiere and her face side eyeing me the entire time. And I'm like, she was like, what's going on with you and her? I said, I don't know. Like, I thought we were good. Coincidentally, fast forward, I reached out to everyone after our premiere party. So this was a Friday night. Saturday, I reached out to everybody in the cast. I don't message me. So I was like, message your wife. I messaged couples together. Appreciate y'all this season. It was nice filming with y'all. Got, you know, enjoy getting a chance to get to know everybody. Happy premiere night. Um... Ashley and I had this kind of back and forth at the premiere party, <laughs> you know, like people like, oh, you know, that's going to be some something, you know. Um, so I messaged her about that, like really enjoy working with you and quick. Happy premiere, premiere night. She was like, yeah, same to you. She's like, you know, we got to get a people to show. And I'm like, this be true. We had our back and forth on Twitter, which I own that honestly, I just should have never responded because she was responding to a comment. I felt like my response to her over the Twitter situation with the whole relationship coach dynamic, because I personally was like, I'm just not going to let y'all ride with this because I'm not a relationship coach anymore. So I responded to it, which my response sent her over the edge and we had some back and forth. And from that point forward, it was like zero to a thousand. Like literally zero to a thousand. My team was like, girl, get your butt off Twitter. I said, okay, I'm going I'm to let Twitter alone. But I feel like even though I was willing, I messaged Monique about it. Because I was like, Monique, what is going on? Like we squashed the whole Twitter thing. But I feel like she's still carrying it on. Is this for the show purposes? This for ratings? Let and me see, me that's what I felt when they went on Carlo's show. To me, it felt like they were keeping it going even though nothing else had really been said as far as I was like, as far as I saw, I don't even think like, I don't even think the Twitter thing was going on like that at that time. But when they went on Carlos show, it was like, damn, they really that mad about the DJ fun size comment, even though Ashley laughed about it when she heard it the first time, but okay. And we had squashed it by the time the finale rolled around. Like you, you're walking around, you know, with fun size Snickers at this point, like <laughs> we have come to some resolve. So, I, it's been very bizarre for me. I, like I said, I messaged Monique and she was like, y'all are stressing me out. I'm like, well, I'm not trying to stress you out, but I'm trying to figure out if this is for the show. Cool. I'll play alone. But if we get personal and trying to attack, you know, character, honey, we do not want, this is not that type of party and I'm good on it. Like, I don't have time for it. Tell me what to do. And I just, you know, she's like, she was like, save it for the reunion. Okay. Well, I guess it was saved for the reunion, but that's how we got there. And that, I don't know, y'all. I At the end of the day, I struggle to pinpoint the root of why it's gang up on winter. Like, I really, really do. I really struggle. Um, the Tylers have their reason for being mad at me. I apologize, even though I was very honest in my response about it. They were offended by it. I said, I'm sorry for offending you. I answered honestly. Um but uh, that was the red light special comment? No, we were beyond that. When I was on Carlos's show, Carlos asked me um, after he showed me a clip from the show, how did I, did I feel like there was some infidelity between Arena and Jamie? Mm -hmm. And I answered honestly. I said, you know, yeah, I do. Based off of what they've shared on the show with her saying that, you know, she suspected and this, that, and the other. Um and her saying she stepped out on him, I guess, when they were dating or something. I don't know. Something weird. Like she was No, she was talking to people. She was talking, talking to, people to people in the people. DMs. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, talking to people in the DMs. He asked me, do I feel like there's been some infidelity? And I said, well, based off of what they've shared, I do believe there has been. But 
they like it. I love it. They seem to have worked through it and stuck it out and I support them. Like I like their open and on their open honesty about it. That's and that got a bad read and they were mad at you about that. Oh, piss, honey. I think you should see that maybe coming up. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> but, I'm not really surprised. Um, yeah, they were big mad to the point of just whoo, child, honey. They was upset, upset. So all I could do was say, hey. I answered an honest comment. I was, you know, honest question, honest answer. Apologize if it offended you. Was not my intent. I thought it would have been fine because of the discussion that was had on the show. But can I just point out that this is how the season has went? I took heat from Arena for talking about the sex therapist or needing sex therapy. But they had openly talked about it with the Silvers. Well, you know, to me, it seems like the Tylers, they live in an alternate reality. And if you say something that's going to burst the bubble of the reality that they live in, they get upset. And I feel like that's what we've seen. Wow. Just, just you as a pink Like, give me the heat that's doing to me. I can take it. <laughs> like, I'm a grown woman. I just don't want to be the scapegoat. And I unfortunately feel like a lot of the season I was. But I do feel like it wouldn't have been no heat if I had a, had a XY chromosome next to me. Mm -mm. Nope. It definitely would have been more protection if there was a penis. <laughs> Say it again. More protection if there was a penis. Because, I mean, I feel like Quick didn't have any of that energy for Kevin when Kevin was basically telling Ashley to shut up at the table. He just sat there. <laughs> he didn't say a word. But as soon Did as you started... That? Oh, I saw yes, it. As soon as you said yes. something, let my wife talk. But when Kevin was like, but no, I don't need to hear anything from her because I'm trying to explain. I don't know, but I don't need to hear anything from her. And Quick was just... And then had the audacity to sit up there talking about some uh, what type of person brings papers to a crab boil, a scammer. But you just sat with that scammer the previous week for a man sit down and you believe everything that that scammer had to say. That's with why, the same papers. With the same briefcase. Exactly. The yeah. same well, documents, right. but you believed him over winter all because you wanted to carry out whatever agenda your wife had going on. What was on the papers? I know he couldn't find nothing it, but an evil. It was. He the old find evil. It. <laughs> he like, I can't. And who brings a briefcase to a man sit down? Exactly. That was enough to let you know he was a scammer right there. I was like, all these papers, and we. St what was on the papers that made you just so confident that he was telling the truth? Oh, he said he's he wearing his ring. They st he's they still together. Well, legally, yeah, because it's a process to untie yourself. But just because a person is still wearing a ring don't mean that the relationship is still intact. Like, I don't even like that. Like, it's you're throwing stuff out like there's some issue. You don't know all of the nuts and bolts of this thing. We honestly have been living apart for over a year now. Like, not in the same house. Not mm, even in the same wow. state. <laughs> like, separate. Um, I was just confused by that. But I felt like at that point, it was like, whatever we can do to be against winter. Like, mm -hmm. if it's against winter... We'll go that way. <laughs> Yay, Kevin's here. <laughs> Let's jump on Kevin's side. And then I do feel like everybody, everybody's bubble got bursted at that, that dinner, that crab boil, because I was ready. Because mm -hmm. I was not going to let that ebook slide either, because that was some foolishness. So mm -hmm. um, I think they expected that maybe he would reveal some receipts. And they would be like, see, we told you it's winter. Nope, not today, Satan. We good. <laughs> we good over here. Like, nope, I'm ready. Let's go. Because you playing with me. We know what the deal is. It's just absolute craziness. Like, even when he says, what did he say? When did I say I was an architect? Mm -hmm. All Must right. I pull up your diagram of architecture that you drew for our wedding? In your architectural experience that you wanted to create some famous drapes for our backyard wedding? Mm. Oh, okay. Like y'all, I have re like y'all understand. Like I'm dealing with someone that is deals in delusions, so I have to have receipts. When you're dealing with people who have some level of narcissism, um, you got to come with documentation because they will spin circles around you. If you don't have it, then you are basically stuck with dealing with whatever they created. And I just wasn't gonna let him do that that night. I'm really that's the unfortunate part. I really hate they didn't show any of my receipts because I was ready 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 um but you know it is what it is 
neither here nor there. I feel like the point got across. The audience wasn't full from jump. So once I knew that, I was like, oh, we good. <laughs> we good. I don't have to really battle. More I have to battle, like, people are like, why did you not see that? But, you know, different time, different day. I feel like he's aged, like, 50 years. <laughs> it looked like it. Jamie, is it not you yet? Uh, yeah. So um, let's talk about Tasha. What was the issue? What happened with Tasha? Seems like she may have said some things on social media. I thought she was somebody that had your back this season. Yeah. But at the beginning, the at the beginning. Yeah, I think so. What people honestly need to understand, I don't know any of the ladies outside of Monique. I met everyone in the group with the ex exception of Quick and Ashley a year ago at Monique's potty retrain and release book, but it's just a meeting, you know, like, it's not like we hang out or we're cool. Fast forward, you know, I meet her during the show. Tasha is Monique's friend, real friend, like in the sense of, you know, maybe BFFs or something like that. She would more so fit that context. So she's not loyal to me. She's just, I feel like more balanced in her perception. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't know. We personally haven't had any back and forth. I, I really feel like our interaction on the show showed her basically giving a balanced perspective to me, maybe understanding maybe where the ladies were coming from, even though I didn't really understand where they were coming from at all. But she kind of gave like, hey, well, no, winner. I don't feel like it's as deep as you may, may have felt or perceived or, hey, you know, I don't think that person felt that way or why would you take it that way? Or how did you, like, she was kind of that person, but not necessarily, oh, I got her back. The one time she did speak up was at um, the Crab Oil, um, I, I almost said some ugly, anyway, um, what's his name? Quicksilver. Uh, <laughs> he, um, he almost said fun time. <laughs> I want to say that. I've been trying to make a departure. Uh, so Quicksilver actually started I don't know what he was doing. I don't know if he was dancing. He was just doing the most when Ashley and I were having the back and forth. And Tasha said it was childish the way he was acting. Like, hey, you know, they're trying to hash it out. Don't be childish. So she would interject at times like that. But let's not get it twisted. She is not Team Winter and has certainly had strong um, perceptions, which is weird because I'm like, you know, for the audience at large, because so many of her scenes, and I would say almost all of them, with the exception of times she was with the group, got cut out. I don't address her really per se because the audience doesn't see her. So I'm not, I can't, the audience don't have a good barometer, if that makes sense. Not to throw shade, but it just don't make sense for me to address it. So I let her say what, what she says, because at this point she's a viewer. You know what I mean? Like she's a viewer like everyone else because <laughs> no, I'm not trying to. <laughs> this about. is the shade you was talking about. <laughs> Like, I can't, I can't fault her for feeling what she feels like she's viewing like everyone else, but she just has a better inside because she did film with us during the season. Uh, but honestly, Tasha quits filming after Ocean Prime. Okay, so that's at the beginning of the season. She doesn't film again until after Arena and I have the Joe's Juice blow up. That's the, that's the, the distance in between the time she's filmed. So when I say she's a viewer, she's watching like y'all are watching a lot of what's happened because she's out of the loop at this point um, and not filming with us like that. So, you know, I, I'm not going to address, you know, things that really the audience at large is not going to really have a whole lot of context because they don't see her scenes like that. So it's kind of like, you know, I'll say for me, she was probably the most balanced. I do know she's loyal to Monique and she's more so loyal to the other ladies. I hate that they cut out her one scene because her and I both addressed Ashley at Ocean Prime because she felt like she was out of pocket towards her as well. So I'm mm -hmm. not the only person who experienced um, the way Ashley is towards people and how she comes off. Her and Tasha had a back and forth a couple times. They actually went back and forth um, on social media, I believe, with the whole like, hey, you know, I said your delivery was horrible too. Like, let's be clear, Winter and I both came in there with issues. <laughs> um, right. So she did speak up for that. So I will give her credit for that, but she's not team Winter at all, no. Definitely not. All right. Okay, then. Um, okay, I was trying to make sure I wasn't muted. All right. So, <laughs> it, 
is there anything specific that you would want to share about what you may have heard about allegedly. Jamie or Quicksilver allegedly? Lee, Lee, Lee. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a stick to I'm a stick to my my typical maintain this of I don't release what knowledge or receipts. Um, I will just say I'm not lying about the receipts or knowledge that I have. Just because a person chooses not to release does not mean they are lying. And I know people in reality are like, well, if you ain't lying, show the receipts. No, no, no. We got to understand reality is reality. Real life is real life. And sometimes reality impacts real life. And I'm mindful of the fact that these people have families. So because of the nature of what I have, I've chosen to hold my receipts close to my bosom and um, keep it moving. But best believe, because I felt like I was going to get accused at the reunion of lying, I'll give you guys the first uh, exclusive. I've never shared this. Come on. But the first exclusive is that my receipts, because if I needed to, I was going to flash that I actually did have them, I just wasn't going to show them, was up under my train at the reunion. Mm -hmm. She sang it was a part of her eye ensemble. Yes. So, so I guess Ashley wasn't the only person with tricks. You just didn't pull yours out like, like her. Oh, no. All of my fans, I couldn't use my fans because it was messing with the audio. I was so upset. Um, I had three fans. Um, friend of the show, you all, you all saw that. A uh, one line wonder and receipt queen. Those what? are my three fans. Well, what was the one line wonder? One line wonder, because everybody out here trying to use my my one liners for making t shirts. Oh, oh. Wow. who made a t shirt, girl? Who made a t shirt? I think Arena's selling gutter Barbies. Oh, um, actually, I think it's selling a ghetto gala. I think. Oh, really? Fun size. Yeah, they made shirts out of them. Wow. You know what? Um, I, I would almost say pull a stormy and just do it do it your way way and do it better. Boom. You know, like when Destiny and Stormy had them t-shirts that said the same thing. You know? Right. That's right. Cool. Yeah, but Stormy's look much better. Not More so purchasable. <laughs> you need Here's to that. ask for your cut. You need to ask for your cut for sure. Where my money is. Period. Yeah. So, you know, I one line wonder. I had a lot. Honestly, I had a lot of one-liners over the season. So it's like people are like, when do you need to, you know, do something about it? They're making shirts out of your sayings. I said, well, the sayings wasn't a compliment. So if they want to, you know, purchase them and wear them, that's, for them, that's on them. It wasn't a compliment when it came out. But, hey, you like it, I love it. Um, but, yeah, I one-line wonder and receipt queen. Because I, Monique know this about me. Like, I am very known for some receipts. Um, mm -hmm. I credit my first marriage with this because um, when you're dealing with infidelity, you got to have receipts. Because when these cheaters be cheating, honey, you can't just show up and be like, I know you cheat. You got to pull all the receipts you got with highlighted phone bills and everything. Like, no, this is where you, this is where this happened. <laughs> like, I could have been an attorney, I think. That's what I wow. think. Wow. You're not new to this. In my former life, I'm, I'm a receipt keeper. Because, again, I've told people, like, do I need to pull text messages like y'all playing with me out here y'all know i keep receipts don't play <laughs> with me. i i literally i have to because in this day and age people like to make things appear a certain way that they right. are not um and i hate to be like that but i feel like in reality honey you need to just keep a folder keep a folder because these people will stir up some mess so you mm. just have to be able to pull if necessary now that you said people will make things appear a certain way, that just reminded me of the reunion whenever Ashley and Quick said something like, oh, you try to play like your absence, but you've been out here with this with this toothless man. <laughs> so so I was like, wait, hold on. One, we got the toothless man. Two, mm -hmm. they saying that Winter is out here even though she act like she is not. <laughs> right. Bye, honey. Yes. Right, dipping it low, busted it. Yep, that's what they were saying. Child, so at one point, I, God, I can't say it because it's going to be air, but let me tell you what, my comeback is ready because there's a claim that's made, but unless there's a certain something and somebody's something, it ain't true, right? So I'm like, well, how y'all know that I'm dipping it low, spreading it? Why? Y'all got photographic evidence? Is it on video? Y'all got a tape. 
but let's be clear. Um, it's funny, I, and I, I'm glad you asked it because it's beautiful. Because I've been wanting to talk about this. I actually got in trouble by the by the network, um, so I had to take it down. But um, I can openly talk about it now because it's been introduced. So that was the thing. So you just never know who knows who in the DMV. And my best friend is my best friend. We've been cool for years. But aside from that, there was rumors being told, and I don't know the situation, but I knew it was going to be some BS when I saw something happen on on IG. Um, and it definitely came out that apparently I was the cause of his breakup from his ex, which his he and his ex have been broken up for over a year. They were never married, by the way. Uh, but I'm the cause. And I'm like, well, that's not true. Because a year ago, I was going through my own shenanigans. I ain't got time to be in other people's situations. He and I actually took time not to talk because he was in his relationship. But for me, when I'm in a committed relationship, I don't mix and mingle. I don't like for my men to feel a certain way with having a guy best friend. That's just to me. Let me remove room for doubt. So my guy friends that are close to me outside of my best friend will tell you winter cuts off, cuts us off when she's in a relationship. Mm. I just don't want there to be that type of, you know, I want it to be cool. So he and I really hadn't picked back up really until the top of the, you know, to the beginning of this year. Um, and so it's so funny that they make all these ac accusations. We got hardcore receipts. Like how would it would have how would it have happened when we live in two separate states? Um, and I was not flying to meet him. Like it just wasn't going down. So I'm like, but how you know I wouldn't just own it? Because I am almost 41. Being a Christian or not, how you know my stance on abstinence has not changed after going through what I went through, supposedly doing stuff the right way, right. and it blowing up in my face. How do you know? Have you asked? But let's be clear, if I was dipping it low spread it wide, I would have been like, <laughs> guilty, <laughs> you know, we'll take it up with the saints later. So I was just like, what's your point? So what is the breaking news supposed to share? That I'm human, that I have a sex drive, that I'm, I'm confused. Like, what did, what is the problem? No, the bigger issue is that I feel like they think he's my source of receipt information. And right. that leads me to ask, well, what do y'all feel like he knows that he may share with me? That's a valid question because we have no reason to give this type of heat to somebody who is invisible um, at this point to the audience at large. Mm. It's a valid Very question. Very good point. It is I mean, because it, it, that's who he called a, a B-I-T-C-H. That's, why, that's who he was Why even that strong of a language? For so yes. Many, he, he was doing so a lot. Like, don't know you, you don't know them, he don't know this. I mean, there's a supposedly had been a conversation about my mental health. I'm looking at my best friend like, it was their conversation? Because I'm, I'm looking at quick, like, I have no clue what y'all are talking about right now. And I mm. honestly do not. So I'm like, oh, Jesus. I think they were trying to out me, be like, honey, she over here. I said, I will release that information when it's true. But until then, don't, don't put it out there. And furthermore, whether I'm dating or not, that's nobody's business but mine. Don't be trying to out me on, on a romantic interest. Let me introduce it in due season. Um, whether it's him or somebody else. And, <laughs> and will. And if he's dipping it low, spreading it wide, and I'm allowed. And I'll repent later. And that's what grace is for. Like, it's what every other Christian does. Like, come on. Like, I'm supposed to be like, they're ruining my reputation. Like, tell mm -hmm. It just wasn't true. That's the only thing I couldn't cop to. It was like, hey, that would have been some juice. But it's not true, which is why I sat there with my legs crossed and was like, it's not true. But OK, I'm not well, I'm supposed to fuss, cuss and fuss over something I know is blatantly not true. Um, but my best friend will be a great I mean, he's a great catch. You know, we'll see what, what we see. What, we'll run on and see what they ain't going to be. OK, so you're open to that. Your best Absolutely. friend. Absolutely. Why wouldn't I be? And I honestly slapped myself for not considering it before um, because he, he, she, he, Philly, you know, like Philly and, and good old little country church girl is kind of, you know, opposite. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I just would have never given him a chance. If I'm being real, you kind of put me in a certain buckets. We all women here. You put certain, them in certain buckets from your own perspective a lot of times. And we friend zone a lot of men that may be good for us because they don't fit our idea of what we are anticipating our husband or our romantic partner should be like. But the fact that we are such good friends, I'm just like, you're dumb. Like my kids know him. My mom and him know him. Like, it's like, why not? Why wouldn't you?
you have, but I know me. It was me. It wasn't him. It was me. Um, and he never tried, honestly. He didn't even push the envelope. So it wasn't even kind of, you know, oh, we kind of been, no, nothing like that. We really were just friends. But I wouldn't mind. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's he's good people. And he definitely, listen, He they better be glad <laughs> that he was not on that stage. Because what he is not going to do is yell, cuss, and fuss. Mm. he's not with words those that's not he was raised in the street he don't discuss so i would have been very curious to see how about that action panned out um and i've had to stand him down because i am his friend and i know people are like well he shouldn't be speaking on women but i really am his best friend and i think any of their friends probably defend them on social media say what they got to say on social media it's like everyone can have backup but winter like why would my friend speak for me why would he speak up for me why wouldn't he defend me? Like, I would expect that of my friends. You know, it's kind of the reason why I kind of side eye, you know, Monique here and there. It's like, at right. least give me some credit. We may not be super close, but dang, like, speak up for your girl at least once in this. Um, so, yeah, he definitely has felt the way, and I had to stand him down. I don't, you know, want him getting involved. I'm a big girl. I can handle myself. And I just don't even address the men. I'm just like, okay, whatever. Um, but the women, I can handle myself. And I don't really have anything against the women, not even against Ashley. Do I like her delivery and do I feel like she could stand and grow in some areas? Absolutely. Um, Because I feel like her delivery, her um, pursuit of being, you know, baby Nene, it's already been done. (laughs) No, she's okay with being considered... She's okay with being the villain in some respect, and she yeah. also thinks that she's the star of the show. And so, that's fine. yeah, no, but th- th- that's exactly the mentality that you would have. The aggressive Ashley cards. I was just like, really, you want to be known as aggressive Ashley? Okay, girl. Uh-huh. I really feel like if she was to stand full force and being blunt, because she is very direct, very blunt. There's an appreciation I can have for that. I feel like. um when I've watched, that's what I appreciate about Bondi. And really, Jasmine, you are too. I mean, Jamie. Jamie. Is it Jamie? I'm sorry. Jamie. It's okay. It's okay. Um, Jamie, you are like that too in the times I've watched you. But Bondi, I know for sure, you just say what you got to say. It's not that serious. There's a respect that you gain from people when you just are blunt. Speak your mind. It's nothing wrong with that. Even if you got to drop, drop a few, uh, you know, drop a few MFers in there, that might be your style. I can respect that. But there's a difference between direct and nasty. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if she ever honed in on refining that, it would flop where I feel like she puts people off right off the uh, off the bat. She would win all those people back. And I feel like instead of having to self-declare being the star of the show, people would name her without having to self-declare it. Because yeah. I feel like what's under, what's... What's understood doesn't need to be made to be, you know, understood. (laughs) If you understand it, don't try to make it understood. So I just feel like, you know, that's her own. That's her own thing. I feel like she's made it known she's doing her own work. But I wish somebody would pull her to the side and be like, baby, listen, let's let's work on this because we got some here. She's not going to listen. She's not going to listen. You already can tell that she thinks that that's just the way I am. That's just Ashley. Like she said that a lot throughout the season, which I kind of hate when people do that because it's a way of never having to be accountable Mm -hmm. for you kind of being immature with the way you handle people. Yeah. Well, it's also, go ahead. I feel like she was branding, no, I'm sorry. I feel like she was branding herself on the show. So she knew who she wanted to be for the show. So from day one, it was very much, I'm not a cup of tea. I'm a shot of whiskey. I'm a this, I'm, which we heard her say multiple times. So I think she wanted to brand herself that way. And then the aggressive Ashley. So I think she believed that the treat, the trait we would like was that she was honest. And I have to be real. At the beginning, I didn't really care for her because I noticed the difference between nice and nasty. But towards the end, before this reunion, I had like after the cabin trip, whenever she stuck up for you and she was saying the things to you that she was saying behind your, I, I liked that. I enjoyed that. So hmm, I think it's a branding mechanism. Okay. So can I just speak to that? Mm-hmm. So I've been, so my background is, is communications and media and PR. Um, I've done that for a number of like companies. 
So my issue with it, fine, brand yourself. That's what we all should be doing, to be perfectly honest, which is why I wouldn't let them nail the whole relationship coach thing to me because we're on a national platform. You're going to brand me right. So if somebody come for me, they know what the heck they're coming to me for. Um, so that was my bigger issue with cashing it out. That said, you got to brand yourself as that, ride with it. My issue is that a lot of my castmates go back and forth with people on social media. You cannot take a stance on a show and then be upset with the, with the flack you catch for taking a stance. Right. Ride that hip out all the way through. Like, I feel like it's a contradiction between what we see on the show and what we view online. So it, it as much as she wants to maybe reinforce, it honestly contradicts. And it's, and it's given, I don't really want to be known as this person like that. I just want to be known for that on the show, not in real life. But I just feel like you can't brand yourself a certain way and then try to defend it offline because it's just not, it just makes it worse. Like, I, I literally, I feel like I've had a lot of people say the same. Like, hey, you know, I didn't like her in the beginning and she won me over towards the end because I kind of saw her, you know, calm down and be human. And then the reunion, people are like, oh, you know, I'm good. Like, <laughs> so, right. I've been good this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I just you but you know a lot of that is consistency on what you're given. I feel like at no time, you know, people probably hate that I didn't defend myself or stand flat footed, but a Yo. part of that is really winter being true to winter because underneath it all, I'm not a nasty person. I'm not just trying to be nasty to people. So if we can come to some resolve. If that requires an apology, I'm woman enough to do it. Um, but now seeing as how people want to stick it now, I'm kind of like, dang, when you should have just get, let them have it and been done with it and stood with it and rolled with I it. Said, I think girl. people would have understood it. I really do. Mm -hmm. I mean, That's what I said, girl. I said you should have just told them. Like, yeah, I called your, your nigga by size and what? You asked me, one. okay, you you was all in my business. He act like I ain't know what I did for a living. So I, I could mention he short. So, yeah. <laughs> I That's the only thing. <laughs> I feel like I could have stuck my gun, stuck to my guns more. And let me tell you, people have been asking, like, girl, you know, are you coming back for a season two? We let let me just tell you, there's an alliance being made to make sure I don't come back for a season two. I don't know if anybody else peep a game, but winter has peep game. Um, the 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 decision by the people that are my coworkers, they do not want to see winter back. I highly doubt it. <laughs> They don't want to come back. You could man. tell by what Ashley's saying in the confessionals. I don't know why she keeps coming around. Like who says this is that on a friend? Yeah, like who? Do, like I've never seen that on any reality show for somebody to be like in the confessional. I don't know why they keep bringing her around. Like I've never heard anybody say that, and that kind of makes me go back to what I was saying at the beginning of this interview about how they You're kept right. asking you to be on the show, and she probably felt the way because she thought she was gonna be. You know, the star of the show. I really do feel like she felt that the only person she thought she was going to have to fight with was Monique. And I think she was ready to do that until you came into the picture. And then that made it seem like, you know what, it might be smarter to just be cool with Monique for the time being. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's what it felt like. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she was ever going to come at Monique, but I think she would have used Irena as one of those people when she especially mentioned that we're not friends, but we're fr whatever she said. So I think that was her kind of establishing, if I need to come at you, I will, but probably not Monique this go round, considering the fact that she's the reason I'm a part of this show. Mm -hmm. I think she would have held out on that. But when she saw Winter and kind of saw how it was moving, like, oh, she's the friend of the show, why would I go at any of the main cast members? When people are probably going to I have to film with the most mm -hmm. when I could come at this woman who obviously to her may appear as the weaker link considering the fact that she is going through a divorce that's she ain't got nobody that, everybody else got a husband she ain't got nobody to have her back that's so the same thing she was, she was gonna come for Raina though because in episode one you remember she started talking about her age and saying that she didn't really know Arena like she that. She sure did. Yep. And yep. Arena was and like, that's, and, but that's what I'm referring to. I know, to. How, to I know mm -hmm. how to do that, girl. Remember? Yeah, you because she was trying to teach her how to do it on her man. Yes. Girl, you, you ain't never lied. But when, never as made. they continued to film, she began to see who was the person she really could come at, which was Winter. And I actually liked Ashley in the beginning, in all honesty, because I felt like she did ask the questions that a lot of us was at home like, girl, no, how does this work? But I will say, towards the as the season continued to go on, and it's so interesting 
interesting how you start off liking people and then that changes by the end of the season. It for me was giving, she just didn't want to like you at all. And she was dead set on that for me. And that's what right. bothered me once we got to the uh, cabin and you apologize to everybody, but she felt like it wasn't good enough. That was like, okay, so you just don't want to like her. And it's just interesting to see Quick speak so much on how she teaches him about unconditional love, only for her to turn around and not show compassion to other people. It's like, hmm, well, that's a bit awkward. That's a bit odd. But I guess it works for you because you didn't have that in your life. So if you didn't have it in your life, I guess it makes sense when somebody introduces that to you. Okay. Yikes, you know, so I just had to point that out. And as we speak on quick, I wanted to know with the temper tantrums that he was throwing um, on the stage, did you feel threatened? I believe you mentioned you had security. So talk to us about so, that. No, no, no. I don't know if there was security on that stage. I had security at the cabin. Oh, when, at the cabin. OK. Correct. I don't know if there was any security. Yes. And I I have gone back and forth you know, with my team about being honest about this, but I, I now I see how social media works um, and I don't want them creating a, a perspective that's not true because they cannot speak for me. I can only speak for myself. Absolutely. Which is why I made the wholehearted decision not to show my train. Do y'all know how easy it would have been to flip that thing? I could have flipped that at any time. It, it was there and ready to be flipped. I made a decision because of how toxic it was and mm -hmm. he acted like he wanted to buck and fight me. Like, I don't, I don't, yes, that's I don't what I know. If anybody wants to say, oh, no, it wasn't. That. No, in that moment, I felt like, okay, I'm, I'm checking perimeters here. Like, what do I need to do? Do I need to walk off? Like, what is going on? Question. Um, do yeah. you think, with, based on the editing and the way it actually happened, do you think the way they showed it was correct? Like, the way Chris responded? Because to me, it seemed like Chris might have been responding and Quick was doing more than they were showing at yeah. that moment. Right. Mm. Exactly, what did we miss? It's yeah. It's exactly edited, it is edited that way. And it's put in, honestly, at a time where it was so crazy, y'all. Like, when I tell you, by the time I'm answering the rest of the questions, I honestly think this week, y'all are see for the first time me kind of stutter. I, I am seriously trying to gather my, mm. my mental space. And I'm not saying from a point of being crazy, but when you are in that type of environment where it is so toxic, you are so like you, when you're threatened, you're, it's a fight or flight that kind of rises in you. So I'm trying to navigate what I'm feeling my brain. And I'm not joking. My, I promise you, they will back me up on this. My brain shut off. Like I, I literally blacked out. I do not remember a fraction of that, that reunion because it was that crazy. In, in addition to her holding him back, they don't see she's getting buck as well. You got two jumping hyenas over here. It looked like, you know, like, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing somebody yell, get her, get her, get her. Get her. God is wow. God. Wow. So now, who did you think you heard? I don't know who it was. I don't know if it's, a, if it's on production set. I don't know who is saying it. I actually asked someone that was in there with me in the background. I said, was I mistaken or did I hear someone say, get her? She said, uh-uh, honey, you heard it. So I probably just circle back and ask who actually said it. Um, it was like being in a demonic chamber. I, and, and I hate to use that. It's going to sound churchy to people. But <laughs> I, it's the only, it was like, what is this? Like, seriously? And it was the one time where, where I actually collectively felt disappointed in our show. Oh, yeah. So let me ask up for you. I did, too. That makes I me want ask a question. I don't want you to be disappointed in the show. I would just want you to be disappointed specifically in the Silvers because I wouldn't want a narrative or anything to be spun as though you don't want to be on this show. You no, know what no, I'm saying? No. And let me oh, okay, then I won't ask my next question. Yeah, <laughs> when I say disappointed in the show, it's because I felt like with the ups and downs, despite the back and forth, the shade, the whatever, y'all, we I feel like we put out a strong first season. For all of us, a lot of us to be novices in this thing, mm -hmm. a lot of us not knowing what the heck we're doing with the exception of Monique, I felt like the season was strong. I really, really do. And I was proud yeah. of it. If, even despite me not agreeing with the way I was edited in some cases, it's what we signed up for. So it's mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm good. I'm not going to argue with it. It's here. Um, I was proud of it. Like, I'm proud of season one. I felt like that was the one moment that dampened it for me. 
like, dang, that's where I say it was a, it was just, for me, it just was low for the show mm -hmm. because we take a dynamic season and put that stain on it. It didn't have to be there. Be, be up, throw your shade. You know, I felt like with her little cute car, she was handling it. Like, yo, I could take that. I would have sat there with my legs crossed like I, with my fan and I was good. Like, do your cute cards. Let us go back and forth. But that right there is so much that's edited out, y'all. Carlos actually came up to me after I wrapped that scene. Held me by my shoulders. It was like, are you okay? Mm. Mm. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, me I too. I think he knew because y'all, I'm feisty. It's a lot of things that were said that I didn't even respond to. I was so checked out and trying to figure out if I needed to defend my, you know what I mean? Like really mm -hmm. defend myself. Um, he said, you know, are you okay? He said, that was a lot. It was a lot. There's no way they can get away from that. It was a lot. Yes, I felt threatened. Yes, I felt like it was unacceptable in the in the level of tolerance. I mean, not tolerance, but toxicity and aggression. That was like a thousand. Like that was, you can't pass that off of that's not directed towards you. It was directed towards me like a man was there. That's how oh, I yeah. felt. And I felt like if, God forbid, cameras weren't rolling, if Carlos wasn't there, if Chris, I believe I would have been fought that night. And that's why I did not show my receipts. And I will never back down from that is what it is. Um, it, it literally took me days. I was so shook. It had everybody in my in my camp ready to fight. Like my makeup team, I had to, like, like she was like, Winter, she literally, when she touched my face up, she said, this, this is, that, that was emotional abuse. Like that mm -hmm. was... That was abusive. Those are the words she used to me. That was abusive. She said, are you okay? And she's having to whisper and touch my face up quick. And she says, I knew something was wrong. Like she knew something was wrong. She said, when are you sat there? She said, you never flinched. You sat there with your legs crossed. You never, you never rose your voice. You never got out of character. You sat there and you took it. She said, and that's what bothered me is how didn't anyone stand up? And I'm like, my mind went to a different place. That's all I could do. But I literally don't remember a lot of it. I literally blanked out. Like, I don't know. That was a crazy moment. There's a lot the audience won't see because they, I believe they know the fire storm, storm that would have been caused if they had left that in as is. Um, they can't fix that up. And I'm not going to excuse quick from that. Um, if he was to do the right thing, we know what would be done. But I don't know that that will happen. Mm -hmm. um, or that he will get support to do it. So it is what it is, but I'm I'm standing my ground on it. It was unacceptable and it shouldn't have happened. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. I, it's unfortunate. What's your question, Bonnie? I'm sorry. And Monique said nothing, right? This entire time when he was going off, right? She said nothing. Did Chris speak more than once though? Yeah, good point. No. He just spoke the one time and told him to stop the one time. Yeah, but to your point, that's... To there, it's edited, so, so it was me. when it was when it got to a heightened mm. area that he spoke, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um. With that in mind, mm -hmm. if you guys did get a second season, do you think you will come back? I'm not against it. Let me just say that I'm not against it. I feel like coming back into season two, your girl ain't coming at, coming back without no backup. Ain't happening. So they would have mm -mm. to agree to be bringing some backup, like period. Um, that would have to happen. And I really feel like I would love to see new blood. Me too. I would love to see huh. new blood. I think we need a new couple. Don't, I don't want to hear this mess about Tasha and Neil. Um, they had their opportunity. I don't feel like if, if they were strong enough, their scenes would have been kept. Like, that's how Ooh. I feel. Like, that's if, because I went to... I was wondering about that because when I've been on Tasha's lives, I like Tasha. So I've, I've talked to Tasha and... Oh, she's cool as ice. She is. She's so cool. cool. Nice. And she's talked about things that she and uh, her husband have gone through. You know what I'm saying? Like there was infidelity in their relationship there. You know, there have been things, you know, and even when they tapped on him, not wanting to get a vasectomy at one point, like it sounds like they had a story there too. So I was wondering, you know, why you thought that they really edited her out and you feel like it was just because they didn't have a lot. Not even just that they didn't have a lot. I think all of us are, are, judge case by case we have to understand this is not just 
production making a decision. This is not just Carlos making a decision. This is a network making a decision. So there's a lot of people watching and looking, right? <laughs> like a lot of people are making decisions. So it's not like she didn't get a chance to film. She had tape. They had tape. Everybody had tape. So when we pull a season together, you have to understand they're looking to see what it's going to produce. And I think for me, on the outside looking in, I just think maybe the juice that is needed to formulate a character on a show wasn't there. Uh -huh. mm. And I think that is the part that's edited. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. she's so laid back, you know? Yeah, she's a normal person when it and comes so to her is, temperament level. It's so yeah. real. He's even chiller than she is. Okay. So wow. that kind of dynamic, and I like Mio. I think he's funny. Like, he has some funny moments, but we're filming a show. So from that, it just sometimes doesn't carry across well. So I think that's why we kind of see a lot of the elimination there. We need a strong ad of a couple. And I mean, you got to bring a wife that's got some personality and you got to bring a husband that ain't afraid to speak up because I think too, there's a, to me, there's not enough balance. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Chris, Chris is compassionate, y'all. He a big teddy bear. He ain't trying to get in nobody's butt over nothing. That ain't his person. You need a man that is a man's man, but can speak up, make a point, get us, get us some butts. If they need a Scott brother. That part, yes, absolutely. Yeah. In I a mean, way. not a Scott there, brother. Y'all don't think Jamie was a Scott brother? Can we try better? So, listen, honestly, <laughs> I feel like Quick and Jamie are parts of the Scott brothers. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just in separate bodies. Whereas you'll get all of that craziness with more so. But, you know, you'll only get, you know, some of that. Listen, y'all don't want me to really get into it. Because for me, I feel like Jamie and Arena need to go. Um, yeah. Expeditious. Mm -hmm. They need mm -hmm. to go. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, y'all aren't keeping it a buck. And we're not blind. And I know what I'm looking at. I know what but I'm But, you know, at. what's funny to me is I think that Arena thinks that this is a buck. So that's why I feel like I can't watch it. <laughs> because mm -hmm. I feel like the two of them literally live in a different reality like jamie knows when something for example whenever he was on the show he um at the beginning he didn't want arena to talk about the infidelity that's because in his mind it happened in her mind it never in her mind she talked to all the ladies about things that had to do with infidelity. And then whenever her and winter sat down, she said, I ain't never said my husband had, had sex with no. And I was like, what? But you, so that's why I feel like I can't watch Arena because- It, it was sing, single-handedly to stop life for me. I can't watch her. I can't watch her. It doesn't make sense to me. It was single-handedly to stop life. You're not gonna sit here and country crock me here today. I just, it was too much. I she just, will tell you the sky's red. Agree. Much for me, I that irritated me so bad. That scene, and and that's kind of my frustration with the way she came at me at that juice bar. I'm like, honey, when I talked about you to Monique, it was from a compassionate place. I was not talking about y'all. It bothered the absolute hell out of me that you felt like if he stepped out on you, that it would be your fault. That pissed me off. Mm. Mm. That's why I talked to Monique. That was really where it bothered me to hear a woman say that. No, I'm sorry. He's responsible for his own penis. So no, yeah. if he makes a decision to poke it in another vagina, that's his choice. Why are you accepting responsibility for that? Now, if you're saying there's some separate issues in the sex department, then let's handle it, honey. I got a recommendation. That was my whole stance around that. And I hate that it got taken out of context because I do feel like there was a little influence from Ashley, you know, in that aspect, because Arena and I didn't have no issues. We really didn't. I can respect her saying, hey, why did you go tell Monique this? Okay, I own it. I told her, but it wasn't from a gossiping or talking bad about y'all. It wasn't at all. It was, hey, let's get him some sex therapy help. And I don't like that she feels like she would be held responsible for this grown man. I don't like it. And I'm allowed to say, I don't like that. You went on TV and said it, and I said it on TV as well. I don't like it. She's weird like that, though. She'll sit on television and complain about Jamie. And then when people get defensive on her behalf, she gets mad at them. It's too much like what abusive relationships look like, where the mm -hmm. women, you know, you'll see a man beating a woman in the street. Somebody gets involved to stop it. And then a the woman turns on the person that's trying to save her and gets mad at them. Leave my man alone. 
like to me that's what i'm seeing with arena and jamie i also noticed during the scenes how jamie doesn't move facial expressions nothing when stuff is going on with other people he's not nothing nothing you know why because he's not empathizing <laughs> that's mm -hmm. why okay like i'm just saying you know he's he was never going to come to anybody's defense y'all can tell me this because i honestly couldn't bring myself to watch the scene is it true that he really grabbed her Mm -hmm. yeah. turned her face yeah look here be quiet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then like and then, a kid and then reacting on twitter yeah i did it and what and then arena follows behind it wasn't like that i said i don't know what y'all think i said if i see one more lifetime movie <laughs> like in y'all relationship it's like they just they do all of the things and then get mad at people for calling the relationship you know abusive and they just mm -hmm. kind of show all of the the signs they show all of the signs it just bothers me because again you know we are filming this reality show it's just some things when you know the camera is rolling you just you know what i mean like you just can't do whether you know they have an understanding or not it's like golly you can't undo this stuff and then you have people thinking you know you got to think how the audience thinks sometimes like i'm learning like i'm new to reality but i'm learning like you got to think about perception so people who perceive that or see that, whether they have an understanding or not, if you do that on camera, people automatically be like, well, what's happening behind closed doors if he did it on camera? Like, what right. happened? You know, like, people start adding stuff to it. I so mean, I that, that wasn't the only time, though. I, I definitely clocked in front of that rental property when he was, like, throughout that scene, he was, like, pushing her mm -hmm. and kind of, like, tapping her and stuff, like, mm -hmm. in a playful way. But I'm mm -hmm. like, y'all are, like, damn near 50 years old. Like who 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 play fights during real arguments? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. Like just for me as somebody that has seen this shit growing up a little bit, I just feel like I know what I'm looking at, and I just wish that they would either get the fuck off the show or stop playing in our faces. But stop, you know, pissing in my face and telling me it's rain. Yeah, I do. Oh, I do think this cast needs fresh blood. Like I know Ashley's not going anywhere, and that's fine. I have no issue with him. Feel like you know, fine, let him be there, but we do need fresh blood so for me i would love to see that like tell me some new people coming <laughs> and so, i was saying this i think i earned my peak. i don't know what we would call love bears dc what is a flag i think i earned my flag this season I got <laughs> into the fire not knowing i was getting thrown into the fire like i didn't come in thinking that i would be in more than one scene let alone every dog wow. like, so. like <laughs> one scene and we get all honey add me to that flyer i feel like i have been i have earned my place on that flyer even if we got to draw me a little stick man because that's what i had married anyway with somebody that was invisible so just put a, oh wow a stick person i just me. said on my next review i was gonna find a you know a picture of you to put in the uh in the little picture because i was like i'm tired of you not being there like when right. you're talking about mainly you the whole time <laughs> I did that in my last one. I had the, the three couples and I was like, I can't do this no more. So I had to add this picture of you to the main lineup. And that's why I was so confused when they sat on the reunion and Quick and Ashley said, Ashley's a star. She's always been a star. I said, huh? Like, what? Winter, she was a show. But um, I honestly, I'm fine with her. I, I will gladly take the friend of the show. But at this point, I feel like if we're going to like capitalize a whole season, I mean, you bring me back season two. I need to be on that flyer. Even if you put me at like the corner or something, like put me, put me at the corner of the flyer. I just feel right. like at least my toe need to be in it or something because at this point we have certainly made a splash an unintentional splash. And I think people should know that that's watching like y'all, this t totally caught me by surprise. I had no idea it was going to be like this. Um, Cause I just, honestly would uh some things i would have done much differently if i hadn't known it would be this much focus but you know mm -hmm. it is what it is and we're here so i'm definitely open to it um so yeah. where does your relationship stand with monique today how after this after this tweet situation no i honestly I, i'm supposed to see her on friday i have a, a interview coming up but um i think things are as they have always been i feel like we need to have a conversation though um i just don't like some of the one-sidedness i'm seeing and i just don't think that's fair um because i personally have never done anything to her 
I've honestly defended her in a lot of ways. <laughs> like I, I come to her defense and I know people probably are like, girl, quit defending that girl. Like, um, I just have nothing against her personally, but I do want to kind of understand, like, I just want to give her an opportunity to explain. Like, if you are truly putting me in a co-worker bucket, then I understand. Like at this point, we got it. We just got to play the business of reality TV. And that would definitely help me govern myself accordingly from here on out. But if there's mm -hmm. a conversation that's had and it's like, no, this is show stuff. But in real life, girl, we explain that to me. So I know how to move and I know how to um, respond. And, you know, it may be that I'm coming to just the realization of what things are. And it may, it may have been that I have truly just inflated myself in this whole, you know, social friendship. And it could be. And I'm willing to own that and accept that that's what it is. But that's a grown woman conversation that I'm willing to have. So things are as they have always been. We don't have any beef, but after that tweet trying to defend Quick and his undefendable actions, we definitely need to have a conversation um, because that just needs to be, that needs to be discussed. And I, I just, you know, we'll see. Um, I would hate not saying it. What I'm trying to, I, I can't say I'm trying to avoid it, but I feel like what is trying to pop up is a possible, um, I don't know, like contention in, in our friendship if there is a season two. Like, I mm. feel like the contention will migrate. I don't even think it'll migrate. I feel like it'll always maybe be there with Ashley, but I feel like it'll somehow migrate to Monique in a season two um, just because of all the back and forth that I've, I've been seeing. And really some of the things she said, like I've watched her interviews. She had an interview with DJ Richie Scott and he asked her, did, did she think I should come back? And her what response, did she say? She said, "Well, let the audience decide." Well, I, I'm uh -huh. going to say we think she should come back. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, put it out we there. do. We think you should come back. We do. <laughs> and I As hope if there is a season two, we see you voice more of. I guess maybe you didn't see all of it in real time as it was happening on the show. But I hope if you come back for a season two, and there is a season two, we see you hold Monique a little bit more accountable for the way you feel in y'all's friendship or relationship, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think um, that's the one thing, like if I had to do it all over again, that's, I told you it's one of the things I hate because there was definitely more winner take accountability, winner say I'm sorry, winner speak. And it's like, okay, I'm not the only one that's doing a do here. We saw um, that. <laughs> I'm not the only one. So that's definitely something that I, in retrospect, um, will definitely stick to because let me tell you, the door has been blown wide open because what, what mm -hmm. I do know for sure is that um, every man or woman is for his or herself, mm -hmm. unless you got a spouse. <laughs> so right. mm -hmm. um, when she's coming back for herself, if if I come back, that's for sure. So my, my loyalty is to winter first. <laughs> okay. How would you, um, completing this first season, how would you describe it? You can use one word or more. How would you describe your first season or just really your first opportunity being um in reality tv oh god a whirlwind first thing that came to my mind too <laughs> a whirlwind um yeah just a whirlwind because i really blew in and blew out like a blizzard honey we, it was a winter mix this season uh, <laughs> and it was in every connotation like yeah, I would say a, a whirlwind because I just didn't plan for it. I just something I, I got thrown into and I feel like I survived and, and reasonably thrived in a situation that I wasn't really coached or prepared for. So I'm really proud of myself Would I do things differently. Yeah, but, you know, I'm a rookie and you kind of look back, you learn and you take notes. And if you come back, you know how to better prepare yourself. And it's not to say I won't make mistakes in the future, but I definitely will have my um, game face ready coming into a season two. So if there's one thing that you could have done differently, what would that one thing be? I would have cussed everybody out. That's the <laughs> one thing I, I- With cuss words. With cuss words. Let me tell you what, Jesus forgives, okay? I should have cussed and repented afterwards. Mm -hmm. I really regret that some of these people did not get cussed out. Now it's fine, I held true to myself and I cussed somebody out, but I'm telling you, it's, it's a few times so, so people should have got cussed. I should have just agree, girl. Just you don't gotta us. I'm telling you, that's the one thing I regret. I know it might be a petty regret, but it is it is real in my soul. Like I really regret not cussing people out sometimes because they really earned it. And I feel like if I had a got buck and cussed, it might have shut down some of this stuff too. 
Because I feel like cussing. I used to be a cusser. See, let me just tell you. I was delivered. I used to be a cusser. My <laughs> granny, where I get my wit and humor for, from, was a cusser. So I learned from the best. We have I that in actually common. I believe wholeheartedly I am funnier when I cuss. So it would have elevated them, them shady shots to the next level. I would have had people in stitches, I think, if I had it through some cuss words. Because I have a creative way of inserting cuss words. It just would have been good. So I think I, we I, should I, rethink that because now I want to hear. <laughs> I mean, I can tell as you placed heifer in so effortlessly that I'm like, oh, yeah, she cuss. She just don't want to do it here. Right. Anybody who say heifer like that, so effort. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, it takes all I have. Like, I've had to practice over years not cussing. I call them replacement cuss words. You know, I've had to find ways to, you know, fix it. But honestly, people know that like, if I get to a height of my anger, um, good luck. Good luck and God bless you. Because I say release it. I say release it. Yeah, I'm it. telling you. I Peter wasn't Peter a cusser? Somebody was cussing. One of them disciples was a cusser. And I understand them. Like I get it. And I just I didn't want that to be me, but wholeheartedly I wish, man, dang, winner, you should have gave him one good cuss for the road. But I didn't. I held true. I didn't at all. But I don't know. I'm tell y'all now, I make no promises and no guarantees for season two. Uh so <laughs> I will see. I pray people mind me. I pray everybody just let me be. If you let me be, we ain't got to worry, but I don't think that's going to happen. So we'll see, honey. I don't know, honey. They might get this cuss season two because I <laughs> this, it was a struggle for me in real time. Like, I really, at that selfie event, that was the one time I wish to God. Oh, yeah. In the mall. Well, Jamie. Oh, I have I have nothing else. I think you she answered else? all of my questions. Yeah, because I I know I wanted the piggyback <laughs> of that one, but okay, yeah, I think we 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 asked we we asked everything we had to ask. So then we're gonna ask, what do you have going on? How mm -hmm. is the single doing? How is the single doing? The single, oh, I'm so proud of it, y'all. It's done in a week. Um, we popped it out in a week. It was not pre-planned because the song wasn't pre-planned, but we got it uh, <laughs> produced and recorded in a week. Oh, time. Nice. It's doing good. We're just working on how to promote it and, and you know, get it out there because really you can't control that. You just got to keep pushing it and getting it out there. So I have quite a number of like events and interviews and things like that to continue pushing it. So go download, sign my papers on, on your iTunes and Spotify and help um, promote and push the song. Um, so the single is just it's out there now. So I'm excited about it. Uh, I have no intentions on putting out no records. I know that's what people like to do when they come on these reality shows. Do not be looking for no record from winter. Um, they are trying to push me to do an EP. No promises because I really don't want to record. I hate being in the studio. So let's just put that out there. Um, not trying to be a recording artist. And so this is just something that came out of it. And here we are. Uh, so, yeah, the single's doing what it's doing. And we're just working on pushing it. And I hope it takes off because we need to hear this anthem. This is the anthem we didn't know we needed. Uh, so it's in my head right now. Yes. I hope I hold my papers and give my discourse. Listen. Listen. <laughs> I, it's good, girl. Necessary. Listen, people go through this. And it's hard when you're dealing with someone who don't want to sign papers. So I hope it does catch on and, and people use it as the anthem, anthem that it was created to be. Mm -hmm. Other than that, y'all enjoying life. My life been good. I know all this drama. I let the drama be the drama. But when we're outside of this life, girl, I be jet setting. It's good. I love my life. My life is good. Um, I be borrowing my friends Maybach. You know, we roll around and have a good time. Like I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I, have no, I ain't mad at you. No place. Like my kids are good. I, my bills are paid. Like opinions don't pay my bills. So at the mm. end of the day, as long as winter is good, her house is good. I'm good. I'm in a really solid place. Kevin is gone. Praise Jesus. Um, like, I'm in a really solid place. And I'm in the best place I personally have ever been in my life. This mm. show has helped me kind of shed a lot of the religious bubble that I've lived in. Like, it burst it single-handedly mm -hmm. um, just by going through what I went through with, with Kevin and going through this show. So I'm kind of going through a rebirth in every area of my life. Like, really owning who I am as a woman. Being almost 41, like, I don't care what people think. You can think what you want to think. Assume what you want to assume. Uh, as long as I'm happy and I'm living the life that's authentically me, I'm good about it and I'm good with it. So I'm in a really, really solid place. Um, just, I don't know. I'm just really excited for what's next. I have a lot of opportunities before. Shoot. So We're going to see you with a, a new husband in season two? 
Mm. Listen. We'll be looking. <laughs> we'll be looking nonetheless. <laughs> peep what you peep. People are trying to peep already. I'm like, Lord Jesus. The only thing I don't like, y'all, is that the DMV is small. Mm. So when we go when when I go out or when we go out and get my friend groups go out, people. Mm. So it's a little weird. So I just you know, chill. We'll see. We'll see what the situation is. I'm not against it. I'm not against opening up my life. Y'all have nothing to hide. Um, it's so funny if people try to shame me. I have not lived my life in a way where I just have a whole bunch of stuff that I can be shamed with. Now, mm -hmm. if there's a sex tape floating around, not that I'm against it. You know, that's what you do. Do what you do. Um, but I just don't have that. So because I don't have that, the things that people have, I can own. You know what I mean? I tell people all the time, if there's something that I can't talk about, it's a legal reason why I can't talk about it. That's the only thing that'll prevent me from sharing my life with people. Other than mm -hmm. that, I do not care, y'all. <laughs> live your life. <laughs> live your life, me. <laughs> like, right. Life. Okay. Because I'm living well, my life. Thank you. Yes. I'm thank you so much, Winter, for coming through. This has been a great interview, mm -hmm. child. I'm gonna release this in two parts. Um, but I appreciate you so much for coming through. I, I love what you have going on. So, you know, I hope y'all get a season two so we can see you again. Thank you for coming. I appreciate y'all for sure. having me. Love watching y'all. Thank you. Thank you for letting me be honest and be me. This is me. Like, I love to do these because people get to see me. Y'all can get all the tea. Y'all ain't got nothing to hide. They just message me. <laughs> DM Listen. me if you want clarification. Okay. I tell these bloggers, like, quit guesstimating and putting up this false information. We give tea over here. So just message me and I can help y'all clarify and put out the right narrative so y'all getting the right information like don't I get <laughs> DM. as i do them right now <laughs> um you can All right. um, you can send me some of those receipts receipts yes right now that's okay, and, I, and then I've sent that in DM. All right, well, thank you so much, Winter, for coming through. It has been our pleasure to have you on the Ooh Ladies First panel. Thank you. And tell everybody where they can find you. Simply Winter on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Simply Winter on IG. And then Simply Winter Official on YouTube. So I do lifestyle YouTube videos. Come on over and say hey. Nice. Cool. All right, we will. Thank you so much, Spencer. Have a good rest of your evening. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. All right, y'all. Well, that was another another one for the books for the Ooh Ladies First channel. You can find all of us, okay, at Ooh Ladies First on Twitter, at Ooh Ladies First on Instagram, at Bondi Blue on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. Jamie, same thing. Jamie, that's me on all of those things. Nisi at Nisi Dixon on all of those things. We appreciate y'all so very, very much. And we will see y'all next time. Peace out, y'all. Bye.